Hi, Kate here. Welcome to Wellcast. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, check out our introductory video. Long story short, it's 100 wellness exercises in 100 days. You in? Stress isn't a decision, but how you deal with it certainly is. Today, we're going to show you how you can be a master of a stressful situation at work with one effective exercise. According to a poll conducted by CareerBuilder, 50% of workers reported that they feel a great deal of stress on the job. But what causes workplace stress? Are you getting stuck with too much work piling up on your desk? Do you need to have it all done in five minutes? Maybe you're getting criticized constantly and never praised. You know, it also happens when your job's too easy and you're just simply not challenged or inspired. Stress comes from all sides. A stressful work environment can have a significant impact on your health. The American Heart Association found that people who reported experiencing job-related stress had blood pressure that tested 10% higher than those who did not experience job stress. The study also found that people who were stressed maintained their high blood pressure even after they got home. While those non-stress participants, well, their blood pressure dropped right when they left the office. The British Medical Journal did a 15-year study on workplace stress. And they found that people who reported being overworked and unable to meet deadlines were twice as likely to get type 2 diabetes than those who felt they were able to meet the deadlines. So, whether you're an AP, HR, or upper management, today's Wellcast is for you. There's no way to avoid stress, but you have a choice to react in a healthy way. Stress is a circumstance, but you are a force. There are really only three possible reactions to a bad situation. Removing yourself from the situation changing the situation, or accepting the situation. Open your Wellcast journal to a blank page and make three columns. Label them at the top, remove, change, and accept. Now, think of the five most stressful situations at your current workplace. These might include your salary, your boss, your coworkers, or your output. Start by placing these stressors into each category. Start with a larger one, like your salary, you do have the decision to A, remove yourself from your current workplace and find a better job, B, change your situation by asking for a raise, or C, accept the situation that you're in. Once you've divided these stressors, write out five short action plans for each situation. For example, if you've chosen to change an unpleasant situation with your coworker, map out exactly how you're going to do that. Move your desk, or if it's really bad, maybe you could talk to your supervisor. Remember, acceptance isn't necessarily avoidance. Sometimes dealing with stress is as simple as learning how to put your frustrations into perspective. Congratulations, you've just identified your top five stressors, and better yet, you know what you're gonna do to make a difference. That is a huge accomplishment because you've transformed negative elements in your life into opportunities to re-engage and grow. Let's recap. Ugh, you can't completely avoid workplace stress, but you can deal with it in a more productive way. Excess stress can lead to higher blood pressure and even diabetes. So, to combat stress at your job, use your Wellcast journal to divide those stressors into three very specific categories, remove, accept, and change. Then, figure out concrete plans how to react to these stressors healthfully. Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at watchwellcast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.